Hello, my name's Noel Kingsbury and I'm going to be introducing a course with Learning with Experts on managing perennials. Now there's a lot of information out there about how wonderful perennials are, how we can grow them and how we can design with them and much less information about managing perennial plantings over time. So in the four lessons of this course we're going to be looking at uh, the, the month by month short term aspects of of looking after perennials, the, the, the basis of a lot of garden work. But we'll also be looking at the longer term, at how perennial plantings change over time, particularly if they're in conjunction with shrubs and trees. And we're going to be talking to Pete Aldolf and the people who manage the High Line in New York about how that's done there. But the important thing to realise is that these issues are universal and one of the great things about learning with experts is that you'll be in a virtual classroom with other gardeners uh, often from different countries but very often we'll be growing the same plants and th therefore we'll be we'll be facing similar issues so this then should be an introduction to making those perennial plantings we've designed look good for many years to come the new york high line is a great place to talk about issues of perennial management there's a very wide range of plants there and there are various different habitats going from sun to shade and it's somewhere that's very intelligently managed by a dedicated staff, each one of whom is responsible for their own section. So we'll be talking to Pete Aldolf about how the High Line is managed. Now the history of the High Line is that it was originally an elevated freight railway line. Uh, it became disused in the 1960s and then became a completely wild place that was almost entirely forgotten about, apart from a few explorers of urban spaces and, and some dedicated naturalists. So when there was a threat of demolition, uh, a campaign was started uh, inspired by the wild space that the High Line had become to make it into uh, an urban park. Uh, Pete Aldolf, uh, the Dutch garden designer, was part of the uh, landscape design team who won the competition uh, to create what has become one of the world's most successful new parks. I've known Pete Aldolf since 1994. Uh, I've always been struck by his combination of real design skills uh, with a fantastic plant knowledge and, and real enthusiasm for plants and his success as a designer is very much down to using really long-lived reliable plants that he's had direct experience of, of growing uh, and using those in a variety of different situations and in ever-changing combinations. One key thing to realise about the High Line is that it's effectively a green roof. It's two storeys up, uh, the substrate is round about 45 centimetres, although that does vary. So it does depend uh, on irrigation through the hot New York summer. And it's also, of course, a very exposed environment. So it's a very testing environment. So if we know that plants are doing well there, then we can be pretty sure that they'll do very well in a, in a, in a variety of other difficult situations. So in making this Learning with Experts course, we had the wonderful opportunity of meeting up with Pete on the High Line on his annual visit to talk to the staff about the development of the planting here, where he hears their ideas about how things are going and uh, makes his suggestions about how things could be uh, changed to ensure that the High Line continues to be the wonderful planting that it is today. So this course, I hope, has introduced you to a variety of aspects of perennial management at the nitty-gritty, down-to-earth, how to look after plants on that month by month basis, but also about thinking into the future, uh, thinking about how plantings will develop over time. What's it going to be looking like in five years time? I hope we've given you some ideas about how plantings develop and how they can be steered in a way which means that they will continue to give you and other people pleasure for many years to come.